Chances are, if you meet us in real life, our voices will sound the same as they do on our ASAP Science and ASAP Thought videos. However, when we hear our own voices played back, for the most part, we cringe. For example, I sound like the honey badger. How disgusting is that? It eats larva. Ew, that's so nasty. People tend to strongly dislike their recorded voices because it sounds different than the voice in their head. And also, people change their voices based on their surroundings. So we decided to bring some people in to do a couple vocal tests and find out why we hate our voices. The ripe taste of cheese improves with age. Oak is strong and also gives shade. Yeah, I just like, I think I'm a good speaker. Thieves who rob friends deserve jail. The ripe taste of cheese improves with age. Okay. <laughs> we hear other people's voices through air conduction, a result of sound waves traveling through the air into our ear and vibrating our eardrum. The vibration then causes three small bones in your ear to amplify the sound waves before entering the fluid-filled, spiral-shaped cochlea of the inner ear. The resulting movement causes these hair-like cells in your ear to transmit nerve signals to your brain, resulting in you hearing something. The hog crawled under the high fence. I don't know if it's everyone, but it's interesting how much I despise hearing my own voice. Because it sounds so different in your head than it does when speaking. You always kind of cringe at the sound of your own voice. Because the perception of how you think you sound and how you actually sound are different. I like sang for so long that I've listened to so many recordings and I'm okay with it. I like, I like my voice. Oak is strong and also gives shade. <laughs> the inflections that I make and the way that I sometimes mumble definitely come through and I it makes me feel uncomfortable. Since our voices are coming from inside ourselves, the sound is transmitted through a different method known as bone conduction. When we speak, our vocal cords vibrate our vocal folds and the resulting effect is vibrations in our flesh and bones, especially the bones in our skull. Since our inner ear is also in the skull, it affects the fluid in the cochlea. The end result is that in general, our voices sound lower to ourselves because the bones are better at transmitting low frequencies. Open the crate, but don't break the glass. I have a very raspy voice, but it's also like in my brain a lot lower. It sounds really high to me, but I know like in general, it's not high. So when we hear a recording of ourselves, we're listening to it strictly through air conduction, not through the bone conduction that we're used to hearing in our head. Act on these orders with great speed. Oh, oh my. Your own personal interpretation of your voice is much different than when you hear it on a recording. I feel like I talk like a valley girl, and I laugh a lot, and I stumble a lot. I always feel like it makes me sound more unintelligent than I feel that I am. Definitely dislike the way I use my voice sometimes, the speed at which I talk. While you may cringe at the sound of your own voice, a 2013 study actually showed that you may subconsciously prefer it. More than 80 participants were separately recorded counting from 1 to 10. They were then given separate tasks to distract them from the goal of the study. Afterwards, they were asked to listen to a handful of these recordings and rank them based on attractiveness from one to seven. One being an ugly voice and seven being a beautiful voice in their opinion. The catch was the participants were completely unaware that they would actually also hear their own voice in the process. It turns out that people didn't dislike their voice as much as they thought. On average, they gave themselves a 4.7 where everyone else was actually giving them a 3.6. Voice attractiveness has been said to be linked to good genes and therefore good health. Men with voices perceived to be more more attractive are said to have a higher shoulder to waist ratio, which is also linked to having higher levels of testosterone. Similarly, women with attractive voices are linked to increased estrogen levels. It is also said that women's voices are more attractive during ovulation, so it's possible that our voices are very much linked to sexual attraction. This is further solidified by the fact that in romantic settings, women are said to lower their voices and men are said to raise them in order to increase their attractiveness. So like when I'm interacting with other people that I don't know, I try to raise my voice up a bit so I don't sound as deep. Unfortunately, when you're hitting on someone, you can't hear yourself, you're in the moment. Maybe because I have this voice, I wouldn't be attracted to my own voice. Someone will like it, someone won't. I still unconsciously change it and lower it if I'm speaking to straight men. I will lower it and try to straighten the tone of my voice. Hey! Like that. It's funny how you try and like put on a proper voice when you're in certain settings. But no, I don't think I've ever made a concerted effort to change it. I definitely do change my voice. I'm not gonna talk to a cop and be like, what up, officer? I think I have like, listen to me voice because I'm loud and obnoxious and I demand attention all the time. <laughs> So, even though you might think that your recorded voice sounds terrible, it might be more attractive than you think, and for valid evolutionary reasons. Thanks for watching. As always, you can follow us both on Instagram and Twitter. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe for more videos like it. We'll see you next week.